and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is indeed the world's smallest zombies map and today we're playing nuclear gun game. So this is all I have to work with, literally the world's smallest map. You may have seen some videos on YouTube of a small zombies map, the smallest one. This is literally the smallest one right here. Literally, it's one box. It's literally one box and today, as you saw, we are playing thermonuclear gun game. Now what is different to a normal gun game you might see on YouTube for zombies is that this requires you to get actual kills with the guns before we can go ahead and get promoted onto the next. While before, you just see points rather than, oh gosh, rather you getting points rather than you getting kills. But yeah, literally this is all I have to work with. Smallest zombies map ever. And if we get uh, touched by the zombies and we die, we don't actually die. We just get demoted down a gun, which I think is really cool. Um, so we have like 56 guns in total, so we have a heck of a lot to get through in the world's smallest zombies map. I can't buy any perks, the perks don't work, the gobble gums don't work, the pack-a-punch machine don't work, obviously, because it's a gun game. And oh, we got a bonus, we've got Deadshot Daiquiri straight away, and oh, look at this! I got a, I got the rocket shield from, uh, Shadows of Evil as a weapon, which is dope. But as this is a Modern Warfare, um, gun mod, which I have to give a lot of credit to. And also big shout to LMK Boy inside of uh, the Steam Workshop for creating the smallest zombies map ever. Because this is like a big meme right now. But I honestly can't see any zombies maps getting smaller than this one right here. Now, this is insanity, right? I've not posted many gun games at all on my channel. So if you guys want to be interested in seeing more, please let me know. And if you do enjoy this video, I want every single one of you guys to slap that like button real good right now. Because otherwise, this will be the only zombies map that you'll be able to play. This will be DLC 4, okay? And we do not want that. The ending of zombies needs to be a big map, not a small one like this. But we are racing through these guns already, and I assume they're only going to get nicer as it goes on. So yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get any gobble gums, because I don't think the gobble gum machine works. Yep. No, none of the machines work. I think Pack-A-Punch might work. Yeah, Pack-A-Punch works. I mean, I have a lot of points, but nothing to spend it on, so that'd be funny. If a gun's really difficult, we might be able to Pack-A-Punch to see if we can kill the zombies with it. But man, this is going to be very high. High action, high intense. Are you kidding me? I was supposed to get, what, how many kills with this thing? What a USP, I mean, it's surprisingly strong. Oh, oh, okay, the RPG. I know for a fact this is gonna be good. I was about to say, where's this music coming from? <laughs> oh no, the M19. I think this is actually scaling the strength, which is sweet, we're on round seven. And uh, these are not weak guns by any means, but we can only use the weapons we are given. No grenades, nothing like that. And yeah, have you seen a smaller zombies map? I would be very intrigued. But also the kill requirements, I think, are getting higher and higher. We don't even have a mystery box to use. Not that we'd even be able to hit the box in gun game. But yeah, this is crazy. But this is uh, going to be interesting because I've never tried this before. Literally my first time you guys are seeing it with me. We could literally go on a streak of just being completely demoted every time with these guns, but I love the Mini Uzi. If someone could somehow, I bet there'll be a mod when the Modern Warfare Alpha comes out. <gasps> Yo, that's gonna save my bacon. When the Modern Warfare Alpha comes out, someone can port the guns from Modern Warfare over, that would be insane. And oh no, look at the requirement for kills now. It's 10 every weapon. This is a yikes, but we're already storming Norman through this. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section right now. If you come across this video, are you subscribed to the channel or is it something that you just saw and you recommended and you were curious and now you're here for the long ride? Because there's a lot of you guys watching my videos that have not subscribed and I have a lot of subscribers here. We've got like 2 million people here on the channel. So if you are new around here and you haven't already subscribed and want to see more videos like this, then make sure you click that subscribe button right now. But let me know what you guys have been up to in the last few days. What you've been up to because... I recently just come back from a long weekend trip to Disneyland Paris and I've got to tell you it was dope. Last time I went to that place I was about five years old and I went with my mum and dad. I barely remember it. All I have is photos but I did meet Goofy. I did meet actually I met Goofy and I met um, Pluto but I did not meet Mickey Mouse and I remember right because when I went you got given like this little uh, little sort of photography book where you get the signatures of the characters you know 
and I was trying so hard to find Mickey Mouse. I saw him loads of times throughout the day. This is when I was five, by the way. I'm not talking about the other day, but I was, yeah, I was looking around for Mickey Mouse and uh, he just kept running away every time. I just, he was just that close out of my, out of my reach. And I was super sad that I didn't get his autograph, man. But now that I'm like in my mid twenties, I'm not too sad about it. Especially when like I went, yeah, when I went the other day, it, it was like a half an hour, not even half an hour, it was a 90 minute wait for Mickey Mouse to meet him. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if I'd wait that long to meet Mickey Mouse. I'm not going to lie to you. If you've ever been to Disneyland, let me know which ones you've been to. I've been to Paris and I've been to the one in California. I've never been to the Florida one, but I've always wanted to go. And I think that's going to be on my to-do list next year. Maybe like my next like summer holiday. I think that'd be dope. And also let me know what if you've been to Disneyland Paris or even Disneyland California, what rides? Ooh! Look at this Silence M21. This is like straight out of uh, the all gillied up mission. This is sweet. This is absolutely amazing. But I love how this like smallest zombies map in the world is like become like a YouTube meme. Everyone's trying to outdo themselves on what really is the smallest map. But I'm telling you now, guys, this cannot be outdone. This is as basic as it gets. Literally one block. Unless they were to... I don't even think it's possible to make a map smaller than this. Literally one window. If they made it two windows, oh my god. I think that would actually be impossible. If someone out there makes zombie maps, actually wants to try that for me, just do that. Get rid of perk machines, get rid of everything, and just literally the world's smallest map. <laughs> that would be insane. That would be actually mad. But with 26 guns remaining, I think we started off with like 58 or something like that. And we are doing seriously well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. No way, dude. No way. I think Electric Cherry might actually be counting for kills, which is good. Oh, this... No way. This is super difficult, man. I'm going to have to just reload every time I, I can. Oh, oh, oh. This is it. No. Oh, oh. No. Are you kidding me? No. It's 13 kills as well. Okay. We've got to be quick. We've got to be quick about it. I'm just going to have to... Spray away. Okay, this is how I got. it's got to be done. You just got to spray until you absolutely have to reload and then get that electric cherry kill. Man, I wish Treyarch would, like, add this into uh, Black Ops 4. Like, gun game would be sweet because I feel like in the last, like, maybe six months or so, gun game has become, like, such a popular thing to do in Zombies maps. Oh, you ain't getting out, son. A double points, even though points mean nothing in this. You just need to constantly be holding down the reload button. It when you're playing thermonuclear um, gun game, which I think is like a play on the modern warfare mode in MWT, which never came out. Thermonuclear war. Who remembers that? Global thermonuclear war. Are you going to die, Mr. Zombie? Uh-oh. Woo! Oh, that's beautiful. That's what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Thermo global nuclear war. It was supposed to be a mode that was going to come out in Modern Warfare 2. If you ever had friends that had JTAG consoles that got you like to 10th prestige or whatever, that's where you would have seen the game mode because I don't think you can like load it up just normally. Oh, I've got the ray gun and Widow's Wine. Yo, if we're getting off Modern Warfare guns and getting into like zombie guns, I am not going to be mad. We're on like a record pace right now. At least it seems that way. I don't know if it is record pace. Oh, whoa. Okay. Modern Warfare uh, Remastered DLC guns, and it's 15 kills per gun now. Are you joking me, bro? There's a heck of a lot of zombies. I don't know how many we've killed yet. I'm kind of scared to pause the game, because the moment I unpause it, it's going to just be a bit too ridiculous <laughs> to keep up with the zombies. But I like how we got Widow's Wine Nades as well. So if any do come through the window, we should be good. We've got the electric cherry, which already frees them in place. But this gives us that extra layer of protection that we need. And man, nine minutes in. I obviously, I feel this is going to slow down immensely. We, this is getting easier as it goes on. But surely the weapons are starting to, must get a little bit more difficult. <gasps> AR-94. Whoa, this looks a bit different. Is, is this the Black Ops 3 version? Was there even one in Black Ops 3? I don't recognize this AR-94. Maybe it's from a completely different game that's not COD. Because, yeah, that, that's looking different. Okay, the Camacho. This is like one of the first Modern Warfare remastered DLC guns. How dare you get back. Ooh, let's go, baby. The Rangers. I don't know if this is going to get us... If, if we're going to get given a gun after this or what. Oh, Deagle. Deagle and stopping power. Oh, wow. 
I will, I will admit though, the Deagle in Modern Warfare's uh, Alpha, if you guys got to play it, let me know. Oh, that Deagle is something else. Even tweeted about it. Just like how good it feels hitting people. One shots with the Deagle. Because even if you compare side by side the Deagle from Modern Warfare Remastered and the Alpha. Man, they, they, they've just done so much detail to all the guns that it's like very, very impressive. Okay, one more kill. No way. I mean, this is deadly, man. I, I was like, I'm, I was a bit worried. I still am. I mean, we've got speed color, so the reload... Oh, the reload's fast. I've never been more dependent on a window barrier in my life than this right now. The boss 14, okay. I like how we got unlimited ammo, which, I mean, you, you would expect, right? You would expect it. Woo, we are absolutely breezing through this, ladies and gentlemen. If you are enjoying this, please let me know, as I want to do some more. This game mode, I think, is built more for multiplayer. We have multiple people all trying to compete. Oh, against each other. Trying to get the most kills. I'm killing zombies before they can even spawn out of the ground. Can I keep this forever, please? Holy moly. Like, there is another Modern Warfare um, mod where you uh, have to get, like, 2,000 kills, like a kill streak, to get a tactical nuke. We're going to get a tactical nuke for completing this gun game, which is awesome. I can't... I can imagine playing this, playing that on this map. But it would just be so, so slow. It, you'd literally need that weapon, the RPG, and, and like something else, a mule kick. Okay. Oh, my favorite gun, the AK-47. And we've got double tap and stopping power now. Let's go, man. I mean, the AK in Modern Warfare, the new one. Ooh, it is juicy. Okay, yeah, nearly 12 minutes in here. Uh, 12 minutes in with 10 guns left. It's got to be diff more difficult than this. Oh, man. Put a grenade launcher on this bad boy. You are laughing. M16. I love the M16 in Modern Warfare. COD 4, that is. I think the M16 is in the new one. I, I'm not too sure. Oh, there we go. The double points. Not that we need it. Two more kills. Come on. One more burst. I believe in you. Oh, yeah. Mow the zombies down. Yo. We're probably going to finish this within the next few minutes. I am gobsmacked at how quick we managed to blaze through it. There was another Modern Warfare mod with this that was 106 guns. And I thought, you know what? We might need to save that for another video. So if you guys want to see it, please go ahead and let me know. I didn't, want to, I didn't want this to be like the longest video in the world. I'm sure you guys would love them to, this video to be as long as possible. And we are really trying to make it as long as possible. But yeah, I thought 106 guns. We might have to save that for like, I don't know, the world's longest gun game on uh, the world's smallest map. Bro, the thumper. Man, this is insane. Look at this. We're only killing like... There's only three zombies spawning out of this at a time. And I think if you use like explosives... Yeah, it takes a while for them to respawn. But if you kill them just blank with a gun... Oh my god, 25 kills with the intervention. Oh man, this is... This is going to be difficult. Oh god, so far... Like we've gotten super, super far without any like demotions... I haven't been demoted once. Is that even a word? Demotions? I don't know. It is now. Woo! I'm actually a little bit nervous. Very nervous here. Because, like, we're so close now. But I don't want to get demoted. I just don't. Don't make... Don't let it happen. Oh, let's go, baby. Ooh, Spaz 12. Oh, yes, mate. We just need an akimbo. Some FMJ on this thing. Ooh! It's also, like, one of the hottest days of like august ever in the uk today so making this video it is hella toasty let me know what what where in the world you're watching this video from and what the weather was like for you today because it was super hot in disneyland paris like record like bank holiday weather do you guys even have a bank holiday where you're watching oh the foul okay this is looking a little bit spicy a little bit spicy but yeah the other week i went to texas i hang out with all of the z boys you know uh, the guys from the Z House, the Boogie Boys, Noah. It was an amazing week. But my God, is Austin, Texas hot. Wow, I really love that place. If any of you guys watch from Texas, especially Austin, shout out to you, man. I really like that place. Really, really liked it. Oh, Barrett 50 Cal. The ultimate spraying sniper. Because the bullet's so damn strong, I can kill zombies no matter where I am. All right, we're three guns away. What could possibly be the final gun? That is what I want to know. It's going to be something super iconic that we've not had yet. All right. Six kills left. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, -ho -ho. yo, we are literally a juggernaut from the new Modern Warfare. You see how many kills we need? A hundred? Wow. Luckily, I've got the ammo for it and the firepower. I'm just going to mow the zombies down, baby. Wow. Amazing. One gun left after this on round 22. Are there any perks still that we have yet to get? I do not know. But I just love how if you, like, you know, get hit by the zombies in this mode, you don't die. You just get demoted. And it's a cool little animation as well, like a nukes going off around your body. What should we do? Should we just back up a bit here? Just take in the sights, sounds, and smells? Hell no! Back we go. But yeah, I, I really can't exaggerate enough how small this map is. Like, look at this. Can't even use the gobble gums. And I have some crazy gobble gums on as well. Like Perkaholic, Shopping Free, Raindrops, Power Vacuum. Not that we need it. But like, I can't imagine. This last gun is probably going to be really horrible. Just because it's like, you know what? You've gotten so far. We're just going to make this awful on you now. Hey, back up, boy. And also realize we've not had any Widow's Wine Nades in forever. Oh. Tactical Nuke incoming. Yo. Kill Sequoia. Oh, what's going on? Oh. What is happening? Did I call it in? Yo, here we go. Whoa. 50,000 kills required there. Threat neutralized and crisis averted. My friends, that was Thermonuclear Gun Game on the world's smallest zombies map ever. If you enjoyed the video, slap a like rating on it. Make sure to subscribe by hitting that bell and turning on all the post notices. You can check out my last video on your screen right now. Big shout out to Twitch LMK Boy for that smallest zombies map ever and also for the Modern Warfare Zombies mod. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.